Hi, Luke here with CatsAndCarp.com, and I'm going to show you my 15 favorite carp baits. Number one on my list of favorite carp baits is feed corn. Feed corn is super cheap. You can find it at feed stores, hunting stores, even Walmart sells it on occasion. 50 pound bag of dried feed corn usually runs between $8 to $12. This makes about 200 pounds of boiled carp bait. It's absolutely fabulous stuff, very effective, and it's ridiculously cheap. You can have a year's supply of carb bait for 12 bucks. Feed corn is also superior to sweet corn because it's tougher and harder for small fish to steal off the hook. I also think it's a more visible kernel and it's a little bit more attractive because of its size. The downside with feed corn is that it requires some prep. You have to soak and boil the corn beforehand and this can take a little bit of uh, time. So you have to do it in advance. Additionally, it doesn't save super well. It'll rot in three, four days unless you put it in a refrigerator, especially if you add anything sweet to it. That makes it rot even faster. Also, check your regulations. Not every state allows corn or feed corn to be used as bait, and some states regulate which waters it can be used in. Most states do allow it, but check your regulations just to be sure. Number two is sweet corn. Sweet corn is one of the most classic carp baits ever. It's super easy to find, it's moderately cheap, and requires no prep time. You simply buy a can at the supermarket, crack it open, and you're ready to start fishing. The downside with sweet corn is that almost every fish seems to love it, so you get lots of small fish like bluegill and catfish picking at your bait. You lose a lot of bait because of turtles and bluegill stealing it off the hook. Sweet corn is kind of flimsy and comes off the hook a lot easier than boilies or feed corn. Additionally, not every state allows the use of sweet corn in fishing. Check your regulations to make sure. Number three on my list is cured sweet corn. You cure sweet corn by taking the Procure Kokanee Killer corn dye and adding it to a can of sweet corn. Curing sweet corn this way makes the corn more attractive, makes it last longer, and also uh, makes it tougher so it doesn't fall off the hook as easily. Unfortunately, it does cost a little bit extra to buy the dye, and it requires a little bit of prep time, but not too much, only about 30 minutes. And the same disadvantages that occur with sweet corn also occur with this. Number four on my list is bird seed. Bird seed is moderately cheap. You can get about a 40 to 50 pound bag for somewhere between 20 to 40 dollars, depending on which brand and mix you use. It's also a buffet style carb bait. Bird seed contains lots of different grains and seeds, so the carp can kind of pick out what they like. So if you have picky carp, or if different carp in the same body of water like different things, it's a great way to throw out something that'll appeal to everybody. It also contains lots of small little particles, so it takes a long time for the carp to pick up each one of the seeds and keeps them grazing in a single location for much longer than other baits. So it's a great bait for holding fish in a swim for a long period of time. If you're gonna be fishing for a long period of time, like all day or two or three days, this is a great bait to start out with. The downside to bird seed is it requires some prep. You have to soak it and boil it before you can use it, and it's also not a hook bait. You can't put bird seed on your hook, so you have to take some other bait that can fit on a hook and mix it with your bird seed and then put that bait on your hook. Um, so uh, chickpeas, boilies, feed corn, sweet corn, that's the kind of thing you typically mix in with the bird seed and then you put one kernel of corn or one chickpea or one boilie on a hook and then you throw that out there in amongst the bird seed. Number five on my list are boilies. Boilies are small round balls of dough bait that are boiled until they are hard. These are used on a hair rig to catch carp and they're one of the most popular carp baits of all. They're very versatile, they're very potent, and they catch loads and loads of carp. They also are very easy to chum out there. You can use PVA stringers, you can use spods, you can use slingshots, you can use boily throwing sticks, just about anything you can use to chum, you can use uh, to chum boilies. If I'm a place where I can't chum and I need to throw out just a single hook bait, my number one bait is boilies. The downside is that they're expensive and they're hard to find here in the United States. Catfish also love boilies, so if you don't want to catch catfish, boilies are often a bad idea. Number six on my list is instant oatmeal. It's a bait you can buy at just about any supermarket. It's really cheap and it's quick to make. You simply add a little bit of water until it becomes sticky and you roll it into a ball and then you pack the ball around your lead or around your hook and you cast it out there. 
This is a great method in states that don't allow chumming. Because the bait is attached to your hook when you cast it out, it's not considered chumming in most states. Additionally, it's a very quick and easy way to chum up a spot. By casting out a ball of chum around your hook bait, the chum is landing inches away from where your hook is. The downsides to oatmeal are, first, it's not the most powerful bait ever. I think boilies and feed corn and birdseed work a lot better. Additionally, oatmeal doesn't keep carp in an area for very long. Once they get a few mouthfuls of oatmeal, it's all gone and they run off. Additionally, oatmeal is not typically used as a hook bait, so you have to mix some other carp bait like corn or boilies in with your oatmeal and then use that as your hook bait. Number seven on my list is instant grits. I think carp like the flavor of instant grits more than instant oatmeal. However, instant grits take longer to soak in the water and don't pack as tightly and as well as instant oatmeal. So the fish like it better, but it's harder to work with and more expensive. Number eight on my list is fish pellets. You can either buy fish pellets that are specifically designed for carp fishing, or you can buy fish pellets from feed stores that are designed for aquaculture. You can buy either sinking or floating fish pellets. If you buy fish pellets from a feed store, they cost about $40 for a 50 pound bag. Fish pellets are extremely effective with carp that are used to being fed by humans. Most grass carp in the United States were raised in a hatchery and are used to eating floating fish pellets and love them a lot. Additionally, carp that live around marinas tend to get fed floating fish pellets a lot and this can work really good in those areas. Floating fish pellets are one of my favorite floating bait. The downside to fish pellets is that they only work in specific situations with specific types of fish. Additionally, they're not what I would call a cheap bait. Fish pellets are also hard to use as a hook bait. You either have to super glue them to the hook, use fake rubber pellets as a hook bait, or you have to use Christ and bogey to stick them to the hook shank. Number nine on the list is shredded wheat. This is a classic American carb bait. Simply take a box of shredded wheat, crumble up all the shredded wheat, and add either a small amount of water or wet kernels of corn. Then mush the shredded wheat in up into a ball the same way you do instant oatmeal or instant grits. Pack it around the lead or hook and then chuck it out there. Shredded wheat has the same benefits and downsides as instant oatmeal or instant grits, but it costs more money. Number 10 on the list is bran cereal. It has the same issues and same sort of technique as shredded wheat. It just doesn't pack around the hook or lead as tightly, so it tends to fall off more, but it's not as expensive either. Number 11 is fruity pebble cereal. It's very flavorful. It's got this powerful fruity flavor and it's also grain based, so it's kind of a double whammy. Uh, the downside is it's not that cheap compared to instant oatmeal or instant grits and getting the water to cereal ratio is really finicky. You can only add a slight tiny bit of water otherwise it becomes too mushy and you have to add instant grits into it to soak up all the water. Chickpeas and garbanzo beans are number 12 on our list. They're a great corn substitute when places where corn is illegal. You can use it as a hook bait or you can chum with it. You can buy bags of dried chickpeas that you can rehydrate and boil or you can buy canned chickpeas, much the same way that you can buy feed corn or sweet corn in a can. The downside is that chickpeas cost several times more than corn. Another problem with chickpeas is that they tend to fall off the hook really easy, so use a hair rug to prevent them from falling off. And I don't think chickpeas are as effective of a carp bait as corn is. Number 13 on the list is earthworms. Carp love earthworms and you can dig them for free in most yards or forests or simply by looking under the leaf litter. The biggest downside to earthworms is that every fish loves earthworms. So if you're targeting carp, it's hard to keep the bluegill and the suckers and the catfish and, and the bass off your hook. Additionally, if you can't get your own earthworms for free, they're not exactly cheap and it's hard to chum with earthworms. Earthworms are also quite perishable if you don't have someplace cool and wet to store them. Number 14 on the list is hemp seed. Sterilized hemp seed is legal in the United States in a fabulous carp bait. It's a powerful scent, it's got a powerful attractant, and it's a very small seed, so it takes a long time for the carp to pick up all the little seeds, so it holds the carp in one area for quite a long time. The downside is that it's hard to find and it's not cheap. It's one of the most expensive grains you can uh, fish with. Uh, you can find it at most carp fishing stores and you can get it online at bigcarptackle.com. There is also some prep time involved with hemp seed. You should soak it and boil it before using it to fish. Last but not least, number 15 on the list is bread. Bread is a fabulous bait. It works good on the surface, it works good on the bottom. 
It's cheap, it's easy to find, and carp everywhere seem to love it. The downsides to bread include how fragile it is. It falls off the hook quite easily, so you end up losing a lot of bait. Additionally, fish and birds and ducks love to eat it, so you have to be careful fishing with bread around ducks because they can often swallow your hook or try to steal it off your hook. Additionally, if you want to chum with bread on the bottom, you have to roll all these little bread balls, which is a very time-consuming process. Well, hopefully this brief introduction to my 15 favorite carb baits was helpful. And if you like this video, don't forget to check out some of our other videos, including how to catch carp with cured sweet corn and how to fish for carp with boilies. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe.